but it was also a tradition. And in fact, the fishermen believed that they could entice the fish to their boats. So they would chant for them incantations from the ancient Greek and Roman texts. Mama su di Paiano, paletta di Paiano, maia su di stignela, paletta di Paiano, paletta. Palena stigneta, manca da stigneta, prona su bardo, presso de visa, ed è terra! When the fishermen hunted the swordfish, they had to consider many things. They had to consider things like the currents of the sea, the position of the sun and the sky, and the seasons of the year, whether or not the fish had coupled. Because if the fish had paired, they would have to be first separated then the female could be killed. Once the female was killed, the male was an easy catch. The male was much larger, and he would not put up a fight if his mate was already killed. It was this idea of this devotion between the two fish, this ancient story that the fishermen always told, that actually became the story of our next song. We're going to sing for you a love song between two unfortunate swordfish. And although the tradition, although the story, the story is a tradition, the actual song was a very famous pop song in Italy in the 1950s. And it was written by someone who may be familiar to a few of you, someone by the name of Domenico Modugno. <laughs> Ah! 